This training center was actually built out of earth bags. And so when we built it, we did it with the intention of being able to set up a sewing center, ultimately to be able to teach a skill. What we decided to do was find the five most influential women in each community and start with them because they're the ones that all of the other women come and look at what they're doing. There were five or six ladies that were kind of hanging around the whole time, but one in particular, her name is Agnes. She's actually a widow. She has three living children. That She had one that passed away. I have bad four boys, one girl. Then my husband have passed away. He left me with four children. It was really difficult for her and like she had a hard time feeding her family and paying school fees was also a big problem for her. She has to walk a long ways to get here and I think even cross a river. So it was a big effort for her to come, but uh, she knew it would make a difference for her to, to come here and be part of this community. She actually now has a job being able to do this. As we help fund these garden towers, it gives her employment, which then obviously takes care of her family as well. I can sell, I can get money for my children. When you're talking about a community where the vast majority of families make less than a dollar a day and live below the poverty line, sowing these garden towers will bring them out of extreme poverty. That impacts the community. They can pay for school fees, they can buy food, provide education and additional food for their family. Ata kwa mboga, ikuwa imepandu kwa kupanda kwa mboga, ni mzuri sana na inasaidia. Kwa sababu atuwezi yanda kununua mboga kwa, kwa maduka, tunachuna kwa shamba. Kwa watoto wamebadilika wako sawa na maisha yao imekuwa sawa. Ata afya iko sawa kupitia mboga. Asandi sana kwa sababu mebadilisha maisha yangu. Naona sasa niko sawa. Asandi sana. Her life is totally different now and it just makes me so happy to see her big beautiful smile. I have changed my life.